Hello and welcome back to the bench of the Very Amateur Watchmaker and today I'm going to do a little add-on video to the previous video I just put out which is the restoration of the vintage 60s Aura's Caliber 457. Now if you watched that, uh, great. If you didn't watch that, shame on you. Go watch it right now and then come back and watch this video. But today what I wanted to go over was how to replace and uh, measure and replace for a broken mainspring. Because if you did watch that video, uh, you see that was the reason it was a non-runner. Now there are a lot of different ways and you know most professional watchmakers will go through a whole bunch of different formulas and different theories. I'm going to make it really simple. There are four numbers that you are going to need to get a replacement mainspring. The first thing you're going to need is, for comparison, the broken mainspring. And what I do, first thing you're going to want is a digital caliper. Makes it really easy. So we'll zero that. And what we're going to do is measure the thickness of that. And you can see it's about a 0.10 millimeters. So that's the first number you're going to need. The second number you're going to need is the length of the mainspring. Now a mainspring is kind of hard to measure the entire length. You have to stretch it out and when it gets towards the end it doesn't stretch out very well so do your best to estimate it. The third number you're going to need is the height of the mainspring. So you do a real basic measurement like that and you can see that it, this is actually a 1.55, I know it says 1.4, there you go, it's a 1.55 millimeter height. And then finally, you're gonna need the diameter of the mainspring barrel. And I measured this several times. Uh, basically, you put your inside calipers on here and it comes out to about, an 8.5. Now I kind of cheated because I looked at the chart and I found the uh, mainspring measurements for this. So if you use those four numbers, uh, I use a company called Cousins UK. They have a uh, an online ordering system. You just punch in your numbers and it will pull up the exact mainspring that you need. They are in uh, Great Britain, a uh, very good company to work with, uh, very inexpensive and they'll ship it to you. It takes about a week. But that's all I wanted to go over today was how to uh, measure for a replacement mainspring. Uh, the next video we're going to cover uh, hopeful reassembly of that vintage Aorus 457 and get it running. But for now, this is the very amateur watchmaker saying goodbye.